Lisa, how are you tonight? I'm a little bit upset, Mort. Why? I'm very hot and bothered because people like this man Whoa. will tell you, will make a million excuses for why criminals commit the heinous types of crimes that they do, and yet the minute a citizen fights back, they're the first one knocking on the door ready to arrest the person. I think we have... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, does it... They does worry... It... If they worry, if they worried as much about the criminals as they do about citizens fighting back, we'd have no crime left in this country. You know the thing, the thing that bothers me, and I want, I want Tom Grealish to be able to respond because I, I think he's one hell of a gentleman. All right, but uh, naturally I wouldn't want to go up against him and have him prosecute him because he's a problem puker. You know, I'm not going to do too well. However, however, I've got to, I've got to say this and make this clear right now to you. I don't care if the crime is in the black neighborhoods, the Hispanic neighborhoods, the Oriental neighborhoods, the white neighborhoods, or mixed neighborhoods. Uh, there's guys like this, and there's guys out there who will try and say this show is, is taking a racist band, it bends one way and the other. That's a lot of crap. Here's a guy right here, all right, is representing a client right now who I believe was mugged in Harlem, a black lady, by a black man, the neighborhood killed that black man. He died, all right? He died, all right? So, you know, they're our brothers, they're Americans, they're entitled to the same thing that an Imperiali is, that a Downey is, that a Sliwa is, that a Martinez is, that a Grealish is. How much are you charging this lady? For the first time in a lot of years, zero. Right. There is no charge. You know why, Mort? And there are a lot of lawyers who want to partake in that case because we too are sick and tired of this street crime business. Lisa, you know about that case. The case up in Harlem, woman's in a bakery, man comes in, takes her last $20, he shows up a half an hour later, the neighborhood folk look around, they don't see anybody in blue. That's what our New York policemen look like. America's angry. They run after him, they beat him. Five hours later, he dies in the hospital. Plotnik becomes his lawyer. Well, we know one thing for sure. He ain't walking into anyone's store taking another 20 bucks. All no, right? but those He's five not people... Beating up anyone. But those five people are going to be prosecuted by the district attorney of a major county in New York City. Then let us all of us follow this case, remember this case, get back on this case, and let America speak out. Yeah. White, black, any color, and show them we ain't taking this crap anymore. Now, a landmark collector's music.